Hello, misfits. And I am out and about in one of my favorite spots. Um, there is a place just on the border of Burbank and Glendale. It's actually mostly into Glendale. And it's called Kenneth Street. And it's this whole street. And it's nothing but jacaranda trees on both sides of the street, lining the street. And at this time of year, they are absolutely stunning. It's just purple flowers everywhere. And I make a point of coming over here every... Well, I'm over here all the time anyway, because my favorite cemetery is over here. But this particular street, I make a point of driving down it um, every single spring when the jacarandas are blooming. I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up too well behind me. It looks like it's a little too bright back there. But I'm going to walk down the street, so hopefully you're going to be able to see some of them. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to be walking down the street, and hopefully you'll be able to catch some of the jacarandas in the background. I'm going to have to hold my hat every once in a while because it's a little bit breezy out in here. <laughs> Anyway, so I thought I would take this opportunity while I was out here to introduce myself to you. Who am I? Who is this chick who's shown up on the scene here? Um, okay, well, you know me as Jacqueline Marie Morning, but I'm sure you figured out that's not my legal name. Um, although part of it is, my first name is legally Jacqueline and my middle name is legally Marie. But my last name is not Morning, it is in fact Colin Torali, that's hyphenated. So, who am I and what makes me a little bit different? Well, for one thing, I'm a little older than probably most of the girls that you see in the goth scene doing these kinds of videos, at least in my experience, I am. I am a little older than that. I am, in fact, proudly 49 years old, um, which is kind of cool because um, unless you're going to go back centuries, right, to like the actual real historical goths in Europe, um, the, the the goth scene sort of started in the late 70s and early 80s, um, and it's uh, a subculture that came after punk. Um, so, uh, and it's really based around a musical uh, genre, you know, bands like Bauhaus, uh, Sushi and the Banshees, and so on and so forth. And that's kind of really where it started. And then, of course, it has grown and developed and ebbed and flowed and now there's all different kinds of subcultures of the subculture um but what's kind of cool is that i was actually around when what we currently know as goths started i saw it all i grew up in that era um so that's kind of neat to have an, an interesting perspective so I've always sort of called myself a, a closet goth. I always had an affinity for this type of lifestyle, but for me it's not as much about the music scene as it is about the aesthetic. I really love black. I love velvet. love the darker, spookier creatures, spiders, bats, coyotes, things like that, that most people sort of associate with the little darker side of life. So why am I kind of just now sort of getting on the scene here? Well, it goes back a really long way. <laughs> um, in my teens and my 20s, I was a model all in Europe and New York. I did all the big magazines, Vogue, Cosmo, L, you name it. And then through my 20s, I was an actor. I married a rock star. I married the guitarist for Def Leppard. And we moved uh, here to LA. And so I segued into acting and I did TV shows and movies and all of that stuff. Um, so pretty much my whole life I was expected to be, look, um, dress, appear in a, a certain way, right? I had to be what the directors wanted me to be, look the way my ages wanted to look, keep my weight a certain weight, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It was always in there, but it really was only recently that I felt like I was at a point in my life where I'd earned the right to be and look and do and appear <laughs> the way that I wanted to. That's who I am. That's where I'm coming from. That's what my perspective is going to be. Um, is it's really more going to be about the aesthetic of it, the lifestyle of it, living it, um, empowering yourself to be who you feel you truly are because that is so important, right? 
Okay, so that was a little bit about who I am and where I've come from, um, and a little bit about what's coming up in the future. So who am I right now, and what's my deal right now? Well, like I said, I'm 49 years old. I live in Burbank, California, which is sort of on the outskirts of LA. Um, actually, just borders LA. Um, I am married. I've been married for 22 years. I have two amazing kids. Um, my first one is the son of the rock star, my first husband, and my second one is my current husband's daughter. <laughs> I have five horses. Uh, I'm sure they'll be showing up in some of the videos. I have a few dogs. I have a rabbit. Um, <laughs> Oh, and I have a vintage store. So a lot of the stuff that you will see me wearing, i.e. this hat, for example, um, comes out of my vintage shop. This is like 1940s black velvet hat. Can't go wrong. I wear it all the time. You'll see it very frequently. All right. Um, feel free to say hi in the comments down there. Um, make sure you subscribe so that you will see more of my videos as I make them. Also, uh, if you feel like it and you want to help me out at my Patreon page, that is also at Jacqueline Marie Morning. Um, now I am going to turn around and when the traffic uh, ends here in a minute and I can get out. I'm gonna get into the middle of the street and I am gonna try and take uh, a picture of the Jacarandas for you guys to see to put here at the end of the video because it is stunning. I mean look, can you see, well I can't see them that way, but can you see them all on the ground? See all the purple flowers? Aren't they amazing? Look, they're just everywhere. It's just like, it's like a purple carpet everywhere I go. All right, misfits. I will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Bye for now.